Today, we're going over the five biggest weight loss myths and debunking them using scientific studies. The last one being quite controversial, so don't miss it. Weight loss myth number one, eat six small meals for faster metabolism. In the largest meta-analysis, our study of studies about eating frequency, researchers found that there's absolutely no correlation between the amount of meals eaten in a day and one's metabolism. This myth is based around the idea that the metabolism is improved with each meal you eat. In reality, there are dozens of studies showing this to be an outdated idea. When comparing eating three meals a day with 500 calories versus eating 6 meals a day with 250, neither causes a greater caloric burn. The takeaway point here is that since meal frequency really does not matter, focus on finding what works best for you. If you like snacking on 6 small healthy meals a day, go for it. If you like eating 3 big healthy meals at the end of your day with intermittent fasting, go for it. What matters much more is what you're eating, not when you're eating it for weight loss. Weight loss myth number two, exercise alone can help you lose weight. Let me be clear, exercise is amazing for a variety of reasons. Better blood flow, improved posture, gaining lean muscle tissue to help you burn more calories, heart health, and a variety of other things. Exercise is something your body needs and something you should be doing. That being said, according to the research, exercise is not a crucial component for weight loss. Multiple studies have shown that when people are split into two groups, one using diet and exercise and one using just diet, that weight loss results are usually very similar. This just goes to further show you that you absolutely cannot outrun a bad diet. Exercising and eating whatever you want is not the smart solution to better health. The takeaway here is not to ignore exercise or stop exercising for weight loss. The point is to give your diet more credit and focus on what you're eating. As far as weight loss is concerned, the science points to taking an 80% diet, 20% exercise approach. Weight loss myth number three, you can crunch your way to a six pack. The body anatomically has your muscles located underneath where you store fat. It's likely that you already have great abs from the natural movements in daily life. They are just hidden and need to be revealed. So if you're doing tons of crunches hoping to lose your stomach fat, you're really wasting your time. As seen from the above studies, focus more of your time and effort into your diet and stop trying to crunch away those pounds. Weight loss myth number four, fat makes you fat. It may seem logical that if you have body fat, then cutting fat out of your diet will help you lose it, but this is a common mistake. There are plenty of studies showing that diets high in fat but within recommended caloric ranges still cause steady weight loss. There's also evidence showing that saturated fat is fine for you as well. In a recent meta-analysis of 21 studies with over 300,000 participants, they found absolutely zero evidence or association between saturated fat and heart disease. The reason for the saturated fat scare was a poorly correlated study performed in the 1970s. In reality, fat and the occasional source of saturated fat in your daily diet is perfectly healthy. The takeaway from this is that foods like high quality dark chocolate, extra virgin olive oil, and coconut oil are healthy and safe to eat. Weight loss myth number five, don't lose weight quickly, go slowly. Probably one of the more interesting findings was a meta-analysis done by the University of Alabama on the speed of weight loss. It may seem logical to tell people who want to lose weight to go slowly, change their habits over time, and gradually decrease their calories so they can ease into a new healthy lifestyle. The science tells us otherwise. This comprehensive examination of all the major weight loss studies found that militant diets beat out the slow and steady approach. The people experiencing the greatest weight loss in the first two to four weeks experience the greatest weight loss the following year. This makes sense from a motivation standpoint as well, as the faster the scale moves down, the more encouraged you will be to stick with your diet. As controversial as it may sound, it seems that stricter diets work better for weight loss. Now, there is more to being healthy than just losing weight, but this is what the science is telling us about weight loss. The real takeaway here is that if you want to see serious weight loss results, use an aggressive diet. This does not mean that you should go on some juice fast or crazy tea talks, just that losing more than two pounds per week is okay and probably a good idea if you have a lot to lose. Got a topic you want the health nerd to cover? Just put in the comments section below. Every comment and like we get on our videos helps our small channel grow. Even a short comment like the health nerd is bae helps us a lot and we really appreciate it. And according to the latest research, for every new subscriber I get, a group of baby geckos are born. So if you haven't already, please subscribe to the health nerd for healthy tips and tricks backed by science. You can also support our channel by visiting thehealthnerds.com where we are currently building out some incredible resources to help you take your health to the next level. Cheers!